Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pan Those Eyeshadows update. I'm so excited for today's update. I know it's been a little quick. I just did my intro maybe two weeks ago, but I have a lot of progress to share. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Like I said, we have lots of progress. I already have a few pans, so I figured I would just film an update. I know it's only been a couple weeks, but refresh it a little for myself and then get back on the schedule of first of the month, first week of the month, somewhere in there. So let's go ahead and start with our first shade. This is from my ABH Soft Glam Palette, and the shade I've been working on is Rustic, which is this brown at the bottom. It's just a brown, matte, medium brown. I've used Rustic seven times since the intro, and as you can probably tell from the progress photos, we've definitely made a lot of progress on this shade. It is looking a little more loved, but we have not hit any significant mile markers. We still have quite a ways to go on this shade, um, but I am really enjoying how this palette is looking as a whole. I think this whole palette is just looking so loved and so beautiful right now. My goal by the end of the year is to have pan in every single shade in this palette. So that is my goal with this one. In general, I used Rustic as more of a crease shade, or today I used it right in the outer corners just to deepen up the look a little bit. I just went for something super subtle and natural today because it's rainy, it's kind of gross. I don't really wanna leave the house. I've just been cleaning, so I just wanted nice little, little something on my eyelids to make me feel all cute, you know? So that is how I've been using Rustic. I do think we will have pan Maybe not the next update, but pretty soon. Up next, we have my Michaela X Glam Light Part 2 palette. And the shade we've been working on is Mama Wang, which is this light lavender at the bottom. I only used Mama Wang one time since my intro. I was actually wearing this shade in my intro. So if we count that look, then I used it twice since my intro. But since filming the intro, I've only used it one time, so it does not look any different, but I have really enjoyed using this palette. I really love the whole color story that we have going on in this palette, and I think this purple is going to be such a fun one to work on for spring, especially since, fingers crossed, it is going to stop snowing soon and start to get a little bit more sunny. But I believe the look I used this shade in was a monochromatic purple look. So I just did purples all over the crease and popped Mama Wang in there just to blend it out. So that is how I used Mama Wang the one time I used it. I promise we're gonna have some good updates. We just have to get through this next shade. This is Straight On Till Morning. It is a super shock shadow from the ColourPop X Tinkerbell collection. I used Straight On Till Morning one time. It does look a little more used. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It does look just a tiny bit more used, but there is no dip or anything in that shade. I'm hoping by next update, we'll have some more progress to share. I have really enjoyed using the greens. I can't remember how I used this. I wanna say it was a monochromatic green look or it was a pop of green in the inner corner. Either way, I only used straight on till morning one time. I know that there's not a ton of progress on these, but like I said, it's only been a couple weeks and the next two shades are going to make up for it. I pinky promise, swear on my life. Shade number four comes from my Beauty Bay Retro Love palette. And the shade we've been working on is Good Vibrations, which is this rose gold shimmer in the second to last row. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, you'll have to look at the progress photos, but I have hit pan in Good Vibrations. I think you might be able to tell just a little bit if you angle it just right, but if not, you'll see in the progress photos. I'm really happy with how this palette is looking. It only took me three uses to hit pan. So three uses and this one is rolling out, but now this is my second pan in this palette. I love when palettes that already have a pan get another pan because it just makes them look so loved and so cute. So this is what she's looking like. Definitely a lot more loved. This color story has been so fun for spring, but I primarily just slapped that on the lid. My everyday go-to look has been pretty much this look crease-wise and either a matte white on my lid like I did today or Good Vibrations popped that on the lid and had a nice shiny rose gold moment but three uses and we have pan. And last but not least, we have the palette that I have renamed the Ogre Palette from Jeffree Star. And the shade that I've been working on is this top corner white shade, I'm Shy. I used I'm Shy eight times since rolling it into the project. And as you can see, we have hit pan, big old pan up in that corner. I'm very pleased. 
I love when I hit pan on Jeffree shadows. They are so hard to hit pan on. And so every time I do, I literally feel like I won the lottery. So I am actually very impressed with hitting pan on this shade, even though it was a matte white and I knew it was possible. It uses is all it took, but we did have a lot of wear on the shade prior to rolling it into the project. I used this to set my eye primer every single time I did my eyeshadow, and I also used it as a brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight when I did more natural looks like this one. I didn't use it today, but similar looks, I would use it as a brow bone or inner corner highlight. And that's how I used I'm Shy. As a whole, I'm very excited that this palette has a pan in it. It's always a good day when I hit a Jeffrey pan. That's all I'm saying. Now that I've updated you guys on my pans, let's talk numbers. So last month, so I guess two weeks ago, if you're watching this as it comes out, I had a pan percentage of 1.68%. In the past month, I've only taken one palette into my collection. I was gifted from Nomad the Ireland Atlantic Way palette. So that palette did come into my collection, but with the two pans, my pan percentage still went up to 1.77%. I'm ecstatic. I think that is a great number to be at. I would like to hit 2% by summer and possibly higher by the end of the year, but I definitely wanna hit at least the 2% sometime in the year. And I think we are on track to doing that. So let's go ahead and pull out our new shades. In my intro, I hand selected every single shade that I was going to work on in this project. In today's update, I do want to start to slowly shift more towards randomizing my shades again. So for this update, I didn't randomize the shades from my spreadsheet. What I did was I have the Tiny Decisions app. I put all of my palettes in and I randomized two palettes and I'm going to hand select a shade from each of those palettes that we pulled. So as you can see, the first palette we pulled was the Jeffree Star Banana Fetish Palette. This is what she looks like. We have one pan in this palette down at the bottom. The shimmers are definitely, I think, what I'm gravitating towards most in this palette. But we are going to pick a shade from this palette to pan. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this champagne gold shade, Vitamin P. I do like the shimmer formula in this palette. I do think it is very unique, very soft compared to other Jeffree palettes. So I think Vitamin P is going to be our focus shade from this palette and hopefully we are able to make some progress by next update. And the second palette that I pulled is Digital Playground from ColourPop. It is this little, what is that, Quintet 5? It is this beautiful monochromatic pink palette. Here's what she looks like. And for this palette, I think I actually wanna pull in the shade from Paris, which is this really pretty magenta shimmer. It is so gorgeous. And I honestly think this combo of shades is going to look so pretty. It is very spring-esque, very spring -timey. So I am excited to see the progress that we make on this color story over the next month. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Let me know in the comments if you're also doing this project. I love to follow along with everyone that does it. And with that, I will see you guys all in my next update. Bye friends.